Well, now to a new screen adaptation of Thomas Hardy's classic love story, Far From the Madding Crowd. The film is set in Hardy's Wessex, where young, independent Bathsheba, played by Kerry Mulligan, inherits a farm from her uncle. Having rejected an offer of marriage from sheep farmer Gabriel Oak, Matthew Schoenartz, she flirts with neighbouring landowner Mr Boulderwood, Michael Sheen, but ends up being fatally attracted to the dashing Sergeant Troy, played by Tom Sturridge. Now, this really is a very lovely period costume drama, isn't it? It's set so wonderfully in the British countryside, and uh, as soon as you leave the cinema, you want to pack a suitcase. <laughs> <laughs> it's so gorgeous, isn't it? Well, but, but you know, mm. it's sort of like... Going along with the coincidences of life, the bad fate that happens in this novel, mm. like all of his sheep being driven oh, over that's the cliff a, that's by a the horrific scene at the beginning. Dogs. Yes, terrible scene. But but at the same time, I think Mat Matthias Schoenartz is such a heartthrob on screen. You, you know, I, mean, I wasn't I, convinced by him in this. Totally. I mean, I think he's, he is terrific to look at, and he acts very well. But he, he seems that's enough. That's enough. No, but he seemed to be really struggling <laughs> with the British accent at, at, at times. He, uh, the, the county accent at times, he seemed like a Belgian banker. <laughs> <laughs> so, but he is very good in the part, I have to say. I He's think good. she's delightful she is too. She's fantastic. She is a gorgeous, brilliant actress. That woman. Yes. Uh, and uh, she, she's and a... well, what we haven't mentioned is that it's being directed by Thomas Vinterberg, the Danish director, who was part of the Dogma '95. Yes, a strange movement. choice, an interesting choice. And uh, I, you know, he's, this is certainly not a dogma film. It's anything but. It's got, you know, music overlay, very subtle lighting, you know, everything created. Uh, but I think he's done a wonderful job on this. It's funny how foreign directors are attracted to Hardy because, remember, Polanski did Tess. Yes. Which, and I didn't think he got that, but I think... Vinterberg gets this beautifully. He wasn't sort of drawn to it, though. I read that he basically was just offered the script by his agent and said, oh, that looks all right, I'll do that. Uh, so it wasn't like a sort of lifelong sort of uh, obsession with Hardy. Well, maybe you need here. that distance with Hardy. Yes, well, he does, certainly does an absolutely <laughs> terrific job, yeah. I have to say. Uh, not all of it works again. Uh, I thought the, the Captain Troy part was a bit odd. I think there were scenes left out there, or certainly left out from the novel, that would have explained a little bit more the attraction to him. I found him a little bit epicene in the role, Tom Sturridge. But to me, I felt happier coming out of this Hardy than Schlesinger's all those years ago. <sighs> I'm giving it four and a half stars. I'm giving it uh, three and a half. 